What's up guys, Ricky Boada here. Welcome back to the channel. We have something really special for you today. This is the Sunburst Porsche you've actually probably never even heard of. This has some RWB pedigree. Now there's a bunch of different Porsches. There's a roof, there's a DP. We have all of them here. This thing, special, wide, and it's a blast to drive. Let's go. This is literally what I'm driving right now. Woo! Got off in the middle of the highway, I mean of the street, just because I'm mad excited. Damn! All right. Eddie, look what we're doing right now. This is what this car is made to do. RWB came from, right? Correct. Now, this car was meant to, to rip the mountains in Japan. That's pretty much what, what this was for. It is substantially wider than a stock Carrera C2, which by the way, everyone on the streets wants to try us right now. Yeah. Lightweight flywheel. So I'm gonna downshift at a point here real quick. Watch this. Oh my God. So this is a 91, 964, it's Carrera 2. Uh, it's obviously been highly modified as far as suspension. Um, it's got coilovers, it's got sway bars, um, it's got front strut bar. Um, now, let me mention this. It's a 964 back date, right? Right, so it's a back date, meaning they got a 964 and they made it look like a G-body um, RSR style, style look. Which is perfect, because then you have the internals of the newest, or well, let's say the 964, which is already like a, the refined version. Right, so you have a 3.6 motor, which is awesome. You have functional air conditioning. Um, Perfect. You get the G50 five speed, which is a highly, you know, highly sought after transmission, even by the big companies like Singer. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just built to, uh, to drive. So this is an extremely clean example of a Sunburst. A lot of other Sunbursts are more raced out. Correct. This one is nice, clean, like we spoke about, matching Recaro seats, houndstooth interior, which gives it that classic touch. You have the internals of the 964, backdated, makes it look old, which is the best. It's kind of rare to see a Japanese tuner tune a German car, which obviously now we've seen a lot with the RWBs, but with this right. car, it wasn't common, and this has been around for 30 years, right. so. And a fun fact is, uh, the guy who actually created RWB, is actually used to work for Sunburst, uh, before uh, RWB was created by him. Nice, so, which is what we spoke about the pedigree coming right. back. Sick. Hey, you think we can beat this Camaro? Probably right not. <laughs> back at RMC Miami. I'm gonna talk to you about this amazing car. It's got the Momo steering wheel. It's got the beautiful gauges with the 911 big tack right in the center. Working AC controls, which is big in these 911s. Remember, this is a 964 backdated. So you think you're in an older car. Why? Because older is cool. Another cool thing about this car is, boom, push the start. Are we good? Keep in mind, this car is all about lightweight. It's got the RS door cards, which means that it doesn't have the handle here. It's got this little string and plain door cards. Now let's go outside and I'm gonna show you all around the aerodynamics of this car and why it was meant to track around the mountains. So as you can see, this car has a lot wider track in the front. It has a fiberglass hood, weight savings. It's all about weight savings here. Remember, this is get up the mountains, rip it hard cool factor that differentiates this against the RWB. These fenders are actually molded on so they don't have the rivets 
and these are functioning air ducts, which they also have it up here. If we step out to the back of the car, you can tell that it's got the track over a foot wider than the standard C2. Over a foot wider. Which also includes working air ducts over here. This is a mesh grill, keeps the engine cool, and it's also just all about functionality in this car. Remember, these are meant for the track. These are meant for the mountains. These are meant to actually be driven. A lot of the other cars that you see, for example, you know, are pretty much a show queens. This car drives really good. You can rip it. It's got the RS flywheel, which just goes whoop in downshifts, getting in and out. Classic Porsche sound. Can't beat it. In this particular car, you can tell it's a Euro spec car because it's got this little turning signal here. And we leave you here from RMC Miami. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned. You can fit one. Two dollars.